गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल इफ़ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल प्लीज़ सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड प्रेस ऑन बेल आइकन सो यू यू विल बी गेट नोटिफाइड वेन एवर आई पोस्टेड न्यू वीडियोज सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वॉट इज कॉपी डेटा एक्टिविटी इन एज यू डेटा फैक्ट्री सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो द एजेंडा ऑफ टूडे इज कॉपी एक्ट कॉपी डेटा एक्टिविटी इन एज यू डेटा फैक्ट्री इन विथ प्रैक्टिकल डेमो वी विल सी how to copy data from one source to another source another destination so <coughs> prerequisite prerequisite for this is we need at least one active azure sub subscription so we can create uh, required resources in the azure portal so let's get started so first is what is copy data activity in azure data factory <coughs> so the copy data activity is mainly used to copy data data from one source to the another source uh, you can copy data from variety of sources uh, and it's almost support more than 80 to 90 90 connectors from which you can copy data from one place to the another place and the copy data copy data activity is the most and one of the widely used activity in azure data factory so if you want to check which data stores and which formats uh, supports copy activity then you can visit this site so we'll get better idea uh, so let's get started uh, uh, let's create one first basic pipeline which will move data from one place to the another place so my requirement is we have to we have one files in adls or in blob storage so our source is blob storage and our destination is adls in our source uh, in our blob storage we have file in csv format and we want to copy into the uh, adls in json format so let me open one slide so to implement this kind of scenario we have some requirement like we have at least uh, we at least uh, if your source and destination are different then you need to below you need below things to copy data from source to destination in our case our source is blob storage and our destination is azure data lake storage so our both source and destination are different so to implement copy data activity between these two source we need at least two link service one for source and one for destination then we need two data sets which represents linked source data and then we need at least one pipeline with copy activity so to implement uh, so to transfer data from source to destination we need two link service we need two data sets in one pipeline with copy activity a uh, link service is like a connection string which defines the connection information needed for the services to connect to the external resources think like that and the data set represents the structure of the data within the linked uh, linked data stores or we can say that it's a logical representation of your data it is someone who understand the format of your data and the link service defines the connection to the data stores to the data source so now we got we got some idea like what is link service and what is uh, data sets so now let's create uh, so to uh, so to uh, as i say i have source is blob storage and the destination is adls so first we have to create that uh, source and destination so to let's let me create this storage account is our is our source and create one adls account which is which will act as a, our destination so go to the azure portal and search for storage account click on storage account and click on create uh choose your subscription and then choose the resource group my i want to 
logically group um logically group the resources which i created for the demo purpose so i have selected one resource group now give the name of the storage account so let's say our storage account name is my blog account my blog account is already taken so my blog storage account let's say my blog storage account my blog storage account and uh, select the region and then mm, select redundancies local redundancy for now and keep other uh, option as it is go to advanced then networking then data protection encryption tax review uh, just review the uh, basic details which we feel and then click on create button so it performs the validation behind the scenes if our validation is passed then we are able to create the resources so let's see uh, our deployment is in progress okay so our deployment is succeeded go to the resources now we have one storage account which will act as a, our source and again we are creating one storage account which is a uh, data lake storage there is uh, um, search okay we click on create button uh, most of the same uh, steps are same but there is one slight changes uh, there is one slight changes while we create the uh, data lake storage or blob storage i will show you so give this to, uh, storage name as my adls account my adls adls my ADLS account my ADLS account okay so keep region as it is uh, select a uh, local data storage then click on next advance now scroll down bit uh, there is one option like enable hierarchical namespace under data lake storage gen 2 so check mark this checkbox so it will create a uh, data lake storage for us now uh, click on now keep as it is for the other option and click on create button so it will create data lake storage for uh, us so now we have uh, one source and we have other another is destination now we have blob storage as a source and uh, data lake storage as a destination so let's wait for some time uh, deployment is in progress still okay so our deployment is complete now let's uh, go to the our storage account go to home then click on my uh, storage account my blob storage account and click on blob service now we are going to upload on files which is a csv so container like my my container suppose one container name is my container 
click on create it will create container for us go to my container and I'm uploading one file order.csv upload so now our source is ready now go to the our destination account which is a ADLS account go to the ADLS account and create one container in it go to the GitLab storage then create one container called my ADLS container and click on create okay so we have source and we have destination right so our requirement is like uh, we have source as a blob blob storage and we have one csv file in it and we want to move this csv file into the destination in ADLS uh, in ADLS but in JSON format so now our source and destination are ready so to move the data from source to destination let's go to the co uh, data factory and we will implement there so go to the edge data factory okay so as i discussed to implement to implement the copy data activity we need at least two link service two data sets and one pipeline with copy activity so let's get create a tolling service one for source and one for destination so go to the data factory and then go to the manage tab then click on link service and create uh, click on new buttons so now uh, we are going to create a link service for our store uh, source so our st source is blob storage so search blob storage here and then give it give the name like link service ls underscore our uh, account name is my blob our storage name is my blob stg account underscore order.csv is our input right so order.csv we can give any name but name should be meaningful uh, we uh, we can give the description description uh, for the now keep as it is for the integration runtime and authentication type authentication type is account key now go uh, scroll down bit uh, select our subscription and then select our storage name so our uh, so uh, storage name of this our source my blob uh, blob storage account so that is our st uh, source storage name before clicking on create button first we need to test the connection like we are connecting to the we are connecting successfully or not so to click click on the test connection and if everything is uh, everything is configured uh, perfect then it gives us successful like our connection is successful successful then click on create button so now our link service is ready for our source the same we need another service for our destination so click on new now is this time our uh, destination is uh, blob uh, sorry data lake storage so search for the data lake storage click on continue and then give name like ls underscore our uh, name is my adls stg account underscore order underscore json so in our destination we want to copy the order.csv in form of json file so i give the name like this but you can give any name so for the integration name keep this option as it is and for the uh, authentication type again select the storage account name this time our storage account name of the destination is my adls stg account so select that one click on test connection now our connection is successful click uh, click on create button so now we have created two link service one is connecting with the adls 
uh, Azure Data Lake storage and another one is connecting with the blob storage. So this is done. Now time time is to create the data uh, data sets. So again, uh, so go to the author tab, go to the data sets and click on three dots and then click new data set. So, uh, again, the again our source uh, source is uh, storage account. So search for storage account, Azure Blob storage, click on create. Now select the format of your data. So our for, uh, in our uh, in our uh, source, our uh, uh, in our source, our uh, format of the type is CSV file. So click on delimited text and click on continue. Now give the meaningful name like datasets underscore my blob stg account. underscore order csv and now select uh, select the link service which which we have created so create the csv and now click on browse button select my container and our order.csv is present here select order.csv and click on ok so now it will so now our input file is order.csv click on ok so our first data set is create now we have to create another data set for the destination so click on again click on new data uh, new data set now our destination is a uh, data lake storage so search for data lake storage gen 2 uh, click on continue but right now uh, but in this case it is the in this time we want data in json format so select json and then click on continue Again, give the meaningful name like data data sets underscore my ADLS uh, STG account underscore order underscore JSON. Select the link service which have, which we have created. Then then click on OK. Now select the path where we want to save the data. So we want to save inside my ADLS container. So okay, and I want I want to create uh, I want to save data in my output folder. So when we run our our when we run our pipeline, it will check my output folder is uh, is exist in the in this container. If if this exists, then it will write our uh, write our output inside this folder. And if it if this folder is not available then it will create new one right so now our two data set is ready so as per our slide we have created tooling service we have created two data sets now time to create the pipeline with a copy activity so now go to the pipeline create on plus icon and then create new pipeline now this will going to create pipeline for me okay we can give any name copy data from blob storage to adls okay now go to the activities window and search for copy data activity just click it and drag it into the canvas Now click on activities and property window will open for that activity. So now general we can give the name, we can give this uh, meaningful name like for which purpose, for, for which or which purpose we have created this activity. So our activity, activity purpose is we are copying data from blob to ADLS. Right. Now uh, we have another option like timeout. Timeout timeout means uh, let's say we have, we are defining here as 12. So 12 indicates that 12 hours. Zero indicates that zero days, 12 hours, then minute, and uh, then uh, seconds. So right now we uh, right now there is a 12. 12 means uh, if our uh, execution of the pipeline will not get completed, 
in the 12 hours so it will mark as a timeout and our data will not get copied from source to destination and then we have retry option so uh, in case of failure if you want to retry the activity of the pipeline execution then we can define here and we can define the interval for the retry option now go to the uh, go to the source tab so now source tab uh, we we have to define we have to set the data set select the data sets if you have not created the data set then we can create from here also but we have already create the data set so uh, just expand the drop down and select our data set like ds underscore we have my adls and my blob storage so our source is, source is my blob storage then select that one and go to the sync sync means our destination what what is our destination where we want to save our data so again select the uh, data sets for the destination so again we have data set ds underscore my adls storage account order dot order underscore json so select that is so now our pipeline is almost ready so uh, to run the pipeline we can click on debug and uh, click on debug which will be used to execute our pipeline so now over, we are almost we are almost done with our pipeline so click on create uh, click sorry click on debug button okay now our pipeline is executing if everything is perfect then file will be moved from our source to destination in our case from blob storage to our adls click on refresh okay our pipeline is succeeded now we can monitor the pipeline like what will the output what will be the input of the pipeline what will be the output and we can spect we can, can click on spect icons to get the details like uh, from where we have copy data and where uh, in this case we copy data from our blob storage to the azure data lake storage and it will also show us like how much data it will how much data pipeline will read how much it will return how, how many row it has read how many row it has written into the file etc etc et so now go to the storage account and we will see if everything is working fine then uh, inside this uh, container we can see the our uh, json file like let's see we have not created my output folder but by running uh, by running the pipeline it got created and inside that they write the order.json file so now let's let's first open the csv file so our csv file is like this if you observe uh, first line is uh, in this file we have first line as in header right we have region we have country item type sales uh, channel etc etc but when we open the json file it's look uh, it's look like pretty bad to me why because you see the json instead of showing actual name of the key it's look it's look like prop zero prop one like that so it is not coming properly why because when i create the data set for the csv we there is one we have one option first row is header so again go to the data sets let me go to the uh, okay, data factory account then go to the data sets for the source open the data set and we have one option like first row is header I know because I uh, I know that my input file has a first line as a header so select it it treat now first row as a header and subsequent row will be the data so now run the pipeline again and you see the difference so let me go to the pipeline copy data from this one so let me run run this pipeline again debug strategy is queued let's wait for some time 
and now the status is succeeded now go to the blob storage and open the json file again and you and we can find it now better right now there is a proper name like what will the region what is the country now this file looks much better right so we have successfully copied data from our source to destination in just few minutes by using azure data factory so if you like this video then give a thumbs and subscribe my channel it motivates me to create new videos for you thanks for watching this video